Yeah, the, the biggie drop is something that's really important to me. We were able to acquire the rights to the Fulton Freestyle, Fulton Street Freestyle, if you're familiar with that. It's, it's liter literally, to my knowledge, the earliest like video of Biggie rapping in history. Yeah, yeah and I think we, so too. And, and what's dope is, is that we acquired yeah, the rights to it. And what we're doing, and what we're doing is, is we're creating what's called the Scott's the Limit Collective, which is really why I wanted to talk to you guys and to this audience. What typically happens is we talk for like twenty minutes, and then we typically bring up whoever is here, like the person here, like at like one twenty-five, one thirty, um, and then we talk for a little bit, and then we we sort of fuck around. There's no real structure here. We just like. No. Yeah, <laughs> and we'll jump from one thing to the next. But um, you guys basically listen in on a phone call for one hour of me and Alex just catching up over the week, and that's it. And that's yeah. and that it's it's exactly that's that. what it's become. Um, so uh, so so what have you what have you been buying? What have any yeah, anything going on? One thing I'm curious people's thoughts are because I'm actually like deciding what I want to do. Uh, what do you guys think about the Bill Murray mint? The, like, I think the Bill, like, so Bill Murray. He's been buying mint. stuff that looks like him, but he, he also yeah. has a mint. Yeah, he's got a mint. That's the whole point. Course, he's been buying yeah. stuff. He's been buying stuff and he's promoting a mint. It's like the fucking recipe for every celebrity. I'm pretty sure Bill Murray hasn't touched a computer, period. So, like, yeah, I don't I'm think sure he has a phone. Agent. So, I'm pretty sure it's his agent and his manager. So, like, all that being said, it's like, ugh, it's like, it feels like such a ripoff celebrity NFT. There's no real. It's no, there's no real plan. There's no real anything beyond it. Coinbase paid top dollar to get the coolest celebrity they could to see if they could get some attention to their product, to their platform. I mean, this is it's so funny. Like, radio, you saw the Radio Shack has done more volume than Coinbase. No, not Radio Shack. GameStop. GameStop. Which sorry. Also, let's, which I'd actually love to talk about next. Let's yeah. hold that for a second. So, but like, okay, so it's going. The mint is going live in about an hour. I think it is an hour or two. Yeah. So you know, this is one of those where it's like, fuck, I love Bill Murray. Like who doesn't love Bill Murray? I mean, he's a fucking. It depends legend. on what your expectations are. If you expect like some sort of community that's going to like stand the test of time, probably not. I but if you, if you want to own something Bill Murray related, I mean, like, it's probably not a bad. Like have I bought, have I bought dumber shit than Bill Murray's NFT? Like for sure, dude. I bought like a you know I have like some. Re I've been going through my wallet selling some stuff at 0.01 that is just a joke. Dude, 0.001 like, is, is yeah, my. Yeah, I know you've been. Like, you've been <laughs> I've been dropping so in the group much. like I just sold like NFTs are back 0.0004. Um, yeah. But by the way, but, how how wrong were we on Coinbase NFT? How wrong was everybody on Coinbase NFT? Well, they fucked it up. It wasn't our fault. They fucked it up. What happened? What where they where they totally botched was not making it completely integrated with native Coinbase, so that all the liquidity that's been stuck in Coinbase for all these years has a very easy way to then go access and buy NFTs. Instead, you got to have MetaMask or Coinbase Wallet and all this other shit. And I think they just completely botched it. They made no unique value propositions. There's zero reason. Like, at least looks rare. There are many reasons to go list, buy, and sell on looks rare. It is an actual decentralized marketplace, which means you're you are earning every time that you participate in their ecosystem. Like, what is the point to Coinbase NFT marketplace? What have they done to incentivize engagement? Like, yeah. there's just zero. They've done it was a complete botch job from the very beginning. It's like it looks like such a corporate fucking. It just feels corporate. Looks corporate. It's just. It's a total It was a total disappointment. Total drop. They, yeah. they fucking dropped the ball. I the reason why I was excited about it was, oh my god, all these people. All the money. Are, the money yeah, there. All, that was yeah. the big idea. My, dad is, my money. dad is like my dad is the only thing he's ever used for a long time was Coinbase. That's all he used. He never had MetaMask or anything like that. I thought this was the perfect opportunity for him to feel safe and get into NFTs. Like yeah. that would have been the right thing to do. Instead, yeah. I wonder they, why they didn't do that. It's not like they're dumb people. It's just so re it blows my goddamn mind blows my mind if they botch that and even if they come at, and now if they did do it it'll it, it'll fall flat it's, yeah. it's just it's too late. they missed they missed the, the the moment yeah bill it, murray is not saving coinbase right now market is not saving coinbase nfts the reality is is that they have to come up with some type of incentivization model or some kind of like token airdrop for anyone who's ever used Coinbase that you could only spend on their marketplace as like a, hey, let me go get people using this for a minute and say anyone who's ever used Coinbase in their life gets coin tokens and the coin tokens can only be used on NFTs, but then it fuels people buying NFTs again um, on their place because everyone's going to be like, fuck it, I can't do anything else with this shit. Might as well go accumulate an NFT and then go see if I can sell it elsewhere or whatever. If they do that, 
yes, it'll cost them quite a bit because it's going to be like a pure marketing play. Yeah. But at the very least, that's going to get them. Like, I bet you, I mean, like, how much do you think they paid Bill Murray to do this? Five million? Ten? Five million? Yeah. Five probably. million, ten million bucks? They could have given everyone. They could have given everyone in the country a million bucks for that. <laughs> All right, funny. I like that. I like that meme too. I like that meme. By the way, speaking of memes, look look at this. Look at. This. I don't know if I had it last time I was here. Check this out. Yeah. Hold on. Watch this. Watch oh, this. I love that. That's where you frame. Look that's where you hung it up. Yeah, it's dope. Super look fun. That. It's super, super cool. I think it goes the whole way. One second. I actually think it's more goblin esque if it only goes half. <laughs> it's like broken. <laughs> I thought it's supposed to go all the way around. Anyway, it's, I don't think so. I no, actually think it's I, way more goblin if it doesn't. Yeah. Only half of the light, and then you have to just wonder: Does the light other two, like? It's just mysterious. Like, will the other half of the light turn on? Come back next week to find out. Yeah. Just, By um, the way, I just yeah. I let anyone who wanted to come in come in, and, I, and someone's like, "If you're saying, I, I think I let too many people in. We have to do more vetting for the uh, for the uh, coming in. Look at the comments. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, um, what else happened this week? <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, so let's talk about game. Let's talk about the the game stock marketplace. Yeah. Um, okay, so first of all, my first question is. Can ETH NFTs be listed on the GameStop marketplace? Is it just immutable? Because my understanding is immutable's part is on the EVM, but like I don't fully understand. So like I don't know, someone in the in the in the crowd, um, I'm pulling it up right now because I've been hearing they've been getting some good traction, which could be, could again be total bullshit and manufactured and 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 just part of the story to get the people excited about it. And that wouldn't be anything out of the ordinary for anything in the GameStop world. It's just manufactured buzz, but like. It's a smooth looking site. It looks cool. Um, I've always thought Immutable is a really good platform and like and works smoothly and works well. My question really is like, A, are these are these NFTs that are are that are limited to only being on Immutable? Or can these be um, like what is the deal? Like can this can this go beyond immutable? Like well, I guess my question is like if I look up like if I wanted to see search GameStop NFT and I and if I look up Doblins, for example. Like, oh, even there? On I there. don't even know. Or, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think we're on there. So, like, are Knight the Vegan on there? I'm like, I don't think so. Or can they be on there? Like, what do we need to do for that? So, yeah, I'm a little confused there. It's not immutable, you're saying, Anoop? I thought it was. There's a whole big thing on the main page of their site saying immutable partnership or some shit. Yeah, um, no, yeah no, no. GameStop and Immutable X grant program It's like, the top of their website. So, yeah. anyway, what I'm trying to figure out is... You know, they have some good volume. I mean, look at it. Metaboy, Arcade Games, Super Stonk, Cyber Crew. They have a lot of NFTs. I mean, they got to be competing with some of the big players out there right now. Yeah, and the, J- the JPEG Morgan's starting to attract the numbers, which means it's something. Or maybe there's just nothing better to do. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> by the way, well, quick, like wait, can we jump for a second to um, yeah. other side? Wait, big we, big do voyage. This? Does anybody actually know if we can? I'm looking in the comments here. The grant is for new game privacy videos. Loopring is an EMV. So, but in, in, yeah. so why is there no uh, traditional ETH NFTs listed on their site is what I'm trying to understand. I don't, which is like confusing yeah. to me. I like no I've idea. never heard, I've never heard of any of their projects that are listed in the top 10. Um, and not saying they're not cool. There's some kind of interesting stuff going on. And also I know for sure Immutable has some really good projects coming up, but it's just not, it's nothing, nothing I'm familiar with is on there, which has been quite confusing for me. But yeah. Um, anyway. um, Okay, so so in terms of uh, this weekend is the other side, the first voyage, and I'm curious. Well, first of all, did you do any of the test ones? They're fun. I think I've seen them. I've seen them, but I haven't done them. They're I mean, fun. Like, I was like, They're like you know, sort of like running around, You're running around and jumping. Like that was like, yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> and like flipping a little bit. Um, yeah, you got you yeah. got to flip. You got to flip. The shit that the shit that NFT NFT DGens, the bar for so quality low. is so low. So fucking low. Yeah. Like our, we're like, oh which is God, why like know. traditional startup people who like build for you years are that video gonna... games have been having run like I'm like guys, you realize that like Mario sixty four offered what we just saw <laughs> in, like Mario Nintendo sixty four. Well, which, I, like, is, which is like the joke of why like even world blew my fucking mind. Blew my mind. I remember the reaction to this day. Like, yeah. What was what was I what was I gonna see from that that demo that was gonna blow my mind? It was the exact yeah. same thing as Mario well, 64. Apparently, this weekend is gonna be a little bit more like immersive and like with the, with some characters. I think. 
Um, I, it's, I think it could be a lot of fun. Honestly, I'm, 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 uh, um, so how do I, so how do I sign up for it? What do we do? I think you need one of your, so here's, here's where I'm not sure is like, I have most of my pl land plots in, in a vault, but yeah. I, I couldn't connect my vault to the, 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 the site I needed to go to the other side site. So what I did is I moved one to a hot wallet and I'm just using that one in the hot wallet. But here's the thing is that like they say pretty explicitly, you, you need to like, you need to uh, like be active to be able to maybe earn those other plots that you're going to get. Right. Cause they're not doing another sale. They're doing just like, they're giving it to the people who already bought. Yep. So I guess my question is like, what, if I only have one of my plots in a hot wallet, which is literally the cheapest one, are the other ones being like knocked because they're just sitting in a vault? Um, and like, that would suck if that's the case. So I hope, I hope not. Um, mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 and that's how, that's how, yeah, the whole help help us build. So I'm just I'm a little concerned because like for example like I have one of the what's it called I have the freaking the portal. Mr. JCC just bullish on running and jumping. Well, listen, I'm 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 like I have like the um the chaos land and like I'm not putting yeah. that in a freaking hot wallet, you know. No. So yeah, yeah, yeah. by the way, chaos land again. Uh, anyone who wants to join my chaos land and um and use it anyone in this DAO or this community or any of the things I'm in, I will give free pat. I don't even know what it does yet, but if it is a portal and you can travel in it, I will give everyone free passage. You know, what would be really cool though, is if this, if the chaos land was a portal and like I could charge people to use it. Um, I mean, no, I'd tax the shit out of everybody. Yeah, dude, I would charge everyone, but I'm saying family here gets to go for free. So yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. but I don't even know what it does. It could do nothing. It's like the thing. It also could do nothing. It could yeah, just be yeah, like, right. you know, literally a, 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 like a fake out. But anyway, there's only 110 of them. So it's got to be something. Yeah. Um, right, let's see what else I'm buying right now. I'm going up. I'm going to I'm going here. I got my oh, motos. Okay. Did anyone got, did everybody get their uh, Black is Beautifuls? Because those are really like. I did, 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 it, did it, is it still selling? It's live right now. Yeah, it's live right now. Did you drop a link? I was a, I, yeah, I'll drop the link. I just think it's an amazing project to support. Uh, it's Herb Rice, Ja Rule, uh, Zeev Klein. They put together a great project, um, and it's just awesome. It's super, super interesting. Um, hold on one second. Let me just pull up the link. Black is beautiful. Um, yeah, drop yeah, it in. Yeah, so I bought. There's mine. been very, bought there's very few and far between drops these days. Um, you know. Like it's, it's, well, I mean, there's, there's drops. There's just, there's just not, which is sort of funny people. because like you, you could sort of get, there's not so much competition also. It's, I agree. That's I the thing is that people are like, nothing's happening. It's like, well, yeah, not it's like, good, it's a good opportunity to create. No, you can, you can make that. Attention. I mean, that's, you can make an argument. That's why goblins took off to some degree. Uh, there's there nothing else I, going I, on. I feel strongly that was a major driver of that because like, you have to realize people, some people are so afraid to do anything right now that the reality is they're just not, there's no noise and you can actually make noise here. I was saying that last week here. And by the way, I think, I think the free, as someone who is a purveyor of the free mint, uh, mint, you know, meta, yeah. I think, I think it's going to move. I, I think agree. free is, is not sustainable. I think it's going to, no, uh, I think it's going to go to like 0 0.02, 0 0.03, you know, that level, like basically, because right now that means it's like 20 to 40 bucks. I feel like yeah. that is where it's going to be more like you actually, if you do a 10,000, you actually can get a little bit of runway to, to build. Um, I think it's going to go away from like, we're getting millions of dollars. Cause like the, the incentives never made sense. You're getting yeah. literally 90% of the money you're ever going to get day one. And the rest of the money, you're going to have to deal with people complaining all day. Yep. A hundred years. Exactly so like, like that's, that's why it. the incentives are all. Also revealed. I didn't even see that. The black is beautiful. Well, some of them are revealed. Oh, I have a really cool one. This Chuck one is awesome. Wait, did you see drop that. the link? Yeah, these are fucking so cool, dude. I love these. You um, drop it. By the way, your your punks play would have been good had it been the final down punks play. Because <laughs> you, you were you were advocating buying punks like. At I still, 100, I still and then 80, then 70, then 60, then 40, meaning it, 
the bottomed out at 40 and then I was back up to like 80 or 90 or something. I, I, I'm so but, bullish. But I'm just saying up. your punks play only made sense in the, well, not only, but like made sense most on the bottom. Um, okay. Cause I know you've always, exactly. you're always like, Hey, we should buy every day. You'd post like, Hey guys, we should buy a punk. Yeah. Cause <laughs> I, be I believe, that I know, like, I know I'm joking. I'm messing with you. In a time like this, that is one of the things that will um, hold value. Like will we'll hold value, and it's a it's a no. It, to me, it's a no brainer. Um, Why do you think they've been flying? It what? Because like usually something's coming when they start flying. Because it's like the most insider of insider I, games. I actually, don't, I actually don't think anything needs to come for pumps. That's the beautiful. Oh yeah, I gotta get the link to Black and Beautiful. Hold on, where the hell is that? Yeah. So there's an, uh, an open. True focus, it's focus, true. One yeah, thing, so one thing at a time. One. I'm gonna go to the Twitter. I'm gonna go to the Twitter. Thing. I gotta find where the link is. Yeah, hold on. Oh, I dropped it on my on my own Twitter. Hold on, I tweeted that shit. Um, what else? What else is coming? Hold on, I'm excited about the. Do you know when we're going to see the motorcycles? Here's the link, guys. The motos. Um, I don't when they reveal you years ago. Yeah. So there's the link, guys. To black is beautiful. I think it, the artist. How is much amazing. is it? Um, it's not. I mean, it, it's it's like. 0.33 or something, but like you have oh. to reprice your tees. Like that's just the way it is. Got it. And these are all one of ones. Every single one is custom designed. I just think it's like, and they're, they have like a really cool, like a lot of this is got, like proceeds are going to the HBCUs, like sports entertainment programs at black colleges. And like, just, just overall, I think everything about this project, the execution, the, um, the minting, the, like I, I thought Herb, who's like one of the founders behind it, I thought like, you know, the way he described it, he's like, He's like, listen, like I was the darkest skinned, like I was the, always the darkest skinned person of my friends and family, like of the darkest tone. And he's like, when I saw Nick Davis's art and like the skin tone and the way it was, was designed, he's like, it spoke to me at such a deep level of like finally someone creating art that like resonates with my personal skin tone. He's like, it just, the way he told that story on Spaces, I just really, it just hit home for me. And I just think it's a beautiful piece of artwork. I think this guy, you know, also Nick is like, he's, um, it's not, I don't know the full details, but I think he's also disabled in some way. Um, oh, he had like some, oh yeah, Davis took on, he had an epilepsy that left him unable to work. Um, so just like everything about this, the whole story, it just all connected for me. And like, it just like, it's nice to see interesting things. So 10% of the sales will go to um, uh, HBCUs, 10% of secondary sales will go to HBCUs. Um, got some great press, uh, just overall, very excited about the project. I think it did really, really yeah, well. There's only like 300 and yeah, There's not many left. It'll probably sell. It'll probably be, I think it'll be gone by today. Cool. Awesome. Um, all right. Let's, let's, uh, let's talk one more thing and then let's bring up uh, the one of team. Um, yeah. Wait, hold on. We go back to my open seat. I had a few other things. Yeah. What else do you do on open seat? I've been, so everyone here who comes regularly last two okay. weeks, I've been talking about just like, I believe this is the final chance to get any liquidity from 90% of projects, meaning even five, 10, $20 liquidity. I think most things will dry up completely. I don't think we've hit the bottom yet. Sorry to people. Um, yeah. And I just think that like, ultimately we're, we're like the fact that somebody bought my, you know, whatever, I'm not going to name a name because I don't want to like shade anyone. But the fact that someone bought X for, for a hundred dollars is insane. It's like, imagine you're doing, imagine you're doing like a, a garage sale and there's something you like totally forgot that you own in the back of your closet and someone's offering you a hundred dollars for it. That's what, what it yeah, is right I sold, now. I sold, I sold a gods of rock. I sold a chubby verse. I sold, I sold my, I, I didn't have, I had one piece of Wolf Game Land left. And I, it's not that I don't, I'm not, not that I'm shading Wolf Game Land. I just can't keep up with it. So I sold that. There's no shade here. In a down market, there's no shade to anybody. Yeah. There's no one, it's no one's gold. fault. But we I always, we always said that this stuff, 90% of this, 99% of this stuff is probably not going to last. Now, um, yeah. Of course. And it's like, you so saw, you try to get liquid on some of these things. So I sold, um, I sold one of, I have a lot of Eva verses. I sold one and then someone reached out to me and was like, dude, like there's a really interesting, like whole play to earn game that's going on in this space. Like there's a lot. Yeah, no, on. actually I kept all my Eva verses and I we have in the Dow. I sold one. I'm keeping the rest. I, I kept all mine because I actually have licensed mine out to a whole team inside of like Illuminati discord that like play yeah, the game. 
and they, yeah, so they, they, they license it. They like just took it and they're like, we'll, we'll earn tokens for you and stuff. That's exactly right. Well, so, agree. so, we're, um, we're, so something I'm really excited about right now. So Knights of Degen, we're actually building like what, one of our major focuses right now is we're actually building a gaming guild. So we're working on a gaming guild. We have, we already have like show. So we basically what we want to have is like this kind of concept where we have the, the we have the assets. We have play, we have like the management and playing and the playing and profit of the guild. But then we also have this like sports center like coverage of all the play of, of our teams and the games itself. So it's like you can either play, you can you can invest, or you can actually just like watch and root because like ultimately it's driving more revenue to our to our DAO in, in general. So like that's a big project for us right now yeah. that I'm really excited about. Um, and it's like we we we've already started it at like a we've already started planting the seeds for it for a while. Like we have a managed we have a Z stable that's managed. We have a um, a frontline stable. We have a, um, a footium team. We have a TV uh, TV T, TVM or TRM TVM. Um, fighters. So um, yeah, we so we do have people that are already broadcasting the content. It's really, this is all run by our KOD media team, which is led by Celso, yes. uh, Jigaman Porto. So no, it's not live on TV yet. I mean, we're just getting started here. But like, ultimately, yeah. our whole objective is, you know, as we go out and continue to build out this line of business, which I think is going to be a major vertical for Knights of Degen, you know, we're going to be building out content coverage, uh, we're going to have a assets, players, and then a whole managed like uh, infrastructure around the guild, um, yeah. and it's really exciting because it's it, it plays in line with what we're all about. Like we all want to like our whole community is like sports and betting and shit. Yeah. So like we're sitting there fucking rooting on these like footy and teams, and everyone's trying to bet on our sports team. And it's like a really fun on brand thing for us. It's, it's on brand with our fan controlled football league. It's on brand brand with our investment in Wagner United. So like we're just yeah. um, that's been one of my like favorite things. <laughs> Um, yeah. And, and by the way, I, Elliot, yeah. Elliot wrote in my really selling stuff for five dollars. You look at my OpenSea account. Yes, I am really selling stuff for five dollars. Yeah, he's like he and, and like Alex kind of inspired me a little bit to sell shit that I just don't care about. Like, because here's the him. thing. Here's the thing. You're locking in. You're locking in a loss, and then you're stacking. You're stacking ETH, which I think is the play here. I think like like I think by the end of this year, after a merge, a successful merge, and even an unsuccessful merge, and delayed another few months, I think we're looking at. It's like a 3,000 ETH. And I'm like, why would I not take $25, yeah. right, of, of ETH and then turn it into $15? You know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't know. I agree. I agree. And, you know, for these kind of things, like, this is not big enough money where you convert into USD. This is the no. kind of money where you hold it. This is like you double down, you hold your position, and you decide. Like, this is actually kind of a lot like stocks in regular investing. In regular investing. You look at an asset and you say, okay, being that that asset is where it's at, do I think that I have, do I want, do I think there's more upside in keeping the asset there? Or can I take that money and move it to a position that has more potential upside? And if that's the case, then, uh, if, yeah, that, that link doesn't work out. I know, because it's your own. I realize that. Yeah, that's where I sent it. Yeah. So, um, but yes, I think you, there's, if you, there, like, if you remove to, account I, and put that, You'll, yeah, like I learned a long time ago, like someone was teaching me, even this when I was like thinking about stocks, I was like, you know, it's hard. I get like, you know, I, I like some, some of these stocks, if they're down, I want to hold them to come back up. But the reality is you have to look at a stock at that moment. And then and would like you, would you buy it right then? That's what you have well, to think about. Every time. Even that, would you buy it right then? It's could that money be more effective placed in another asset? And if it, and if the answer is yes, that it should be moved. So the question yeah. then becomes, do I think that ETH is more, would I bet on ETH more than Chubbyverse? And my 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 answer was, well, I think I think ETH has more of a likely yeah. side than, than, than Chubbyverse. So no offense, Chubbyverse. Like I, I, I you know, I'm all for, yeah. you know, who, I, who doesn't like a Chubb? But like- <laughs> Listen, I sold my, I'll say a name because I don't think they exist anymore. I sold my Save the Martians 19 hours ago for 0.004 ETH, so $4.85, uh, and I'm proud of that. So You know what I'll tell you, though, but I will tell you, Alex? And let's bring up, is, let's bring up uh, Eric and it is, it, Alex, it is painful doing this. Like, it's like, it's so arduous and time-consuming. Like, I, I have, like, 2,000 NFTs, like 2,000 NFTs. I know, I know. It's, there's just no, there's no. Well, here's like, how, I, here's, okay, here's my logic behind it, and here's how I do it. Up and trying to work my way down. No, no. I go, the middle. What I do is I go oldest, right? And then I, I look at I I, oldest and, and, and newest. And I never make it to okay, the middle. Hold on. I go oldest and then I look at things that I own like more than three or five of because ETH is so low. 
Even yeah. if I own five of something that's worth five dollars, if it only costs sixty cents to list it, I'll do it. I don't care. Yeah, it takes me two seconds. Yeah. So I, I just copy and paste in the same. Like once I pay the gas fee of sixty cents. Anyway, all right. Let's uh, let me bring up. Uh, I really Mr. Like, Eric. I love this black is beautiful picture I got. The Chuck, it's so awesome. Dude, Eric, this art. Click uh, click uh, go live. I think. Come on down to Goblin Town. Come on down to Goblin Town. Let me know if you have an issue. What's up? Um, what are you talking about? Elliot, which one are you asked me to link? I, I, if it's about the um, Black is Beautiful NFTs, I linked it above. So scroll up a little bit and you'll see I dropped the link and, to Black And by the way, Dustin, no, because ETH has been so down, if you have five of them, right? If I have five Save the Martians, I don't know if anyone remembers Save the Martians, but I bought 12, yeah. 10 of them when it came out. Uh, yeah. if, if you... It only costs the first time you interact with the contract. So let's say it cost me 60 cents to list it. It's just one, a one time listing every time else it's just yeah. signing. Yeah. So yeah. even if I'm only, if I have five of them and I sell each of them for four bucks, I'm making $20 and I spend 60 cents to list it. That's the logic yeah. behind it. I hear that as well. Anyway, so yeah, I Eric, to, welcome. I need, go, I, need go, I need to go through this all more and like sell some more stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, ultimately, you know what's been selling a lot for me, which is actually a little concerning, is like the Frontier game. I guess people, oh, I think I mentioned that last week. I think people love that. Wow, Ruby G just joined a lot of times. You guys see that? That must be a bug. <laughs> it's Ruby, Ruby G. He's really excited. into this event. He's really here for, Ruby, he's here for Ruby Boogie. Super, super he's here for excited Boogie. to be here in the comments. Uh, what's up, Eric? How you doing, brother? Pretty good. Both, both of you guys have this like halo effect. Uh, over yeah, your head. yeah neither, neither of us have our lighting. Yeah, we're uh, like, we're like, like, we just go, we just do I, it live. It, by the way, I did just get a I did just get a um, a microphone. Whoa. I was like forced to get one. Does any is do I sound any better? Like is this actually like you actually have better? sounded a little bit better today. I'm not gonna lie. Really? All right. Well, so usually you're in an better. airport or a car or getting a vaccination. I know. So I, I know. That. I think so, like yeah, stable so is just fine for you. Is much better. But. Imagine if I have to start taking if I bring the mic with me in a uh, in the <laughs> airport or. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it matches your shirt, so you're like, and it matches his face and his and his and his general red complexion. Beard, red beard, red bike, the whole nine. Uh, yeah. All right, no doubt. Let's rock, let's rock and roll. So, um, Eric, what's going on, man? Everything's good. Uh, enjoying this uh, humid Miami weather. You know. Oh yeah, Miami, Miami family, stand up. Um, that's right. That's well, right. Thanks, thanks for coming on and taking some time. Can you give a quick background on like who you are and what what one of is and what you're doing with with the uh, you hey, know, and Eric before the, you before you start quickly, Matt Matt told me my mic's not working. Can you guys hear me better or worse right now? No, here's the same. 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 Oh, same. Uh, I don't really know. Okay, cool. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, first of all, uh, I, I am a part of the uh, NFT collective, so I, I've definitely been on the upstream app, uh, uh, you know, hundreds of times in the past, uh, and I'm a part of the community. Hundreds, um, I love previously, it. Let's go. Yeah, uh, dozens, dozens. Okay. Um, in, all right, now uh, let's go a little less, but okay, it's you're good, you're still good. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. In in, uh, in my previous life, I'm a recovering music executive, so I actually come from New York. I come from the music industry. Uh, working with some of the you know biggest artists in the world, I've also helped discover and manage some of these artists as well. And then you know at the at the start of COVID, um, I was um, I guess I'm one of like I guess one of the pioneers in the music and blockchain vertical. And I actually helped execute some of the very early um, music related NFT drops uh, before like the whole NFT space kind of took off. So we're we're literally talking about the start of COVID. So I've been responsible for, let's say, Tory Lane's first drop. Uh, he's done three. I was only involved in the first one. I've done Takashi 69, uh, Rap Artist Currency, and, and a few more. Uh, and then I joined one of about a year ago as the uh, director of blockchain business development. Um, and, and Lynn moved his company down here to Miami, where I'm based and, and uh, where you're, where you're based, uh, Alex. And uh, just really been on a really cool ride with Lynn and the whole one of team since then. Yeah. Drew, we can't hear you, so you didn't do anything. Oh, how about now? How about now? It looks, yeah, sounds about a little now? different. Let's keep talking. Wow. wow. Keep talking. Wow. Yeah, that's, well, go on. That's, um, that's pretty yeah. crisp. Pretty it's pretty crisp. Mike. Not going to lie. Damn. It's pretty crisp. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, just the reactions. Like, that's, that's awesome. It worked. Um, so, yeah, by the way, Matt was right. I never turned the settings on in the background and changed my mic. So this, I have this fucking microphone, like, sitting in my mouth, and it wasn't even turned on. But, um, but yeah, anyway, so 
I've been seeing you guys everywhere. Like you guys, I, and what I think is really interesting, you're, whatever it is, your partnerships and sponsorships and brand and marketing team is doing a phenomenal job. Um, but like, I, let, let's talk through like what, like you guys give everyone like the real foundation. Like what's the goals? What's the mission? What's the vision? That kind of stuff. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, and, and thanks for the compliment. Uh, yeah, one of is a, a green um, NFT uh, marketplace. Um, when I say green, I mean we're you know we're supporting proof of stake blockchain. So uh, our music vertical is currently on top of Tezos, uh, and we're also supporting Polygon for our sports initiative. Uh, we're also going to be doing a lot more, as, you, as you've seen in the press, a lot more brand brand deals and going down other verticals. Um, in, in, in my in my I mean that when, when ETH gets through their uh, migration to proof of stake, you guys are going to work with ETH or are you still not on ETH? Are you still, is like ETH just not your thing? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. I know. I, yes. I think that we, we would, I think it would be a little bit foolish not to entertain like the proof of stake, you know, the ETH merge once, once that does happen. Um, sure. I mean, the, the community is, is, is a very large community. Um, you know, if I can humbly brag for a second, we also made the announcement that we're like eBay's infrastructure partner, right? And I, 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 huge. Yeah. And, and, and that's because our whole ethos is based on bringing 100 new million people into crypto. So we accept credit card payments right now, you know, fiat payments for NFTs. Uh, but we are a self-custodial platform, which is really one of our, our main differentiators is that, you know, when people buy NFTs on our marketplace on oneof.com, for the first 30 days, we hold those NFTs before they can transfer them out of their custody wallet to some other external uh, MetaMask or some other external wallet. Um, that's because we're trying to usher in new people into the space and not just have the same people circling, circling around talking about it. You don't, you don't build a community. Like, you know, you, you got, we got a scaling comes from bringing the lay person into the space. So our goal is mm -hmm. to bring a hundred million new lay people into the space. And certainly mm -hmm. the partnership with eBay, which has 142 million people, um, yep. supports our mission. Can you, can you, okay. So two, two questions. One, can you talk about, um, can you talk about how, like, let's talk about the eBay partnership for a second. Like, what is that? Like, how does it work? If I go on eBay.com and I see an NFT in the background, is it you guys? Is it when I go to you guys and in like, what's the relationship there and how is it working? And can we see it in practical? Is it like actually live yet? Yeah, it is. Yeah, great question. Um, it is live. Did a, a Wayne Gretzky drop with them, and recently did a, a fantastic Muhammad Ali drop with them. Um, totally. But but going back to what you said, uh, you know, apparently there people are selling NFTs on eBay, and eBay was starting to realize that there was a demand for NFTs. But as we all know, eBay is a Web two platform, so they actually weren't selling NFTs. What people were doing was they were taking pictures of NFTs and selling these pictures to customers on eBay, and the people who were buying them. Uh, we believe thought that they were actually getting NFTs and essentially they were just getting an APEG image and not nothing that was connected to the, to the block. So, uh, so how do yeah, I know if I'm, if I'm on eBay right now and I type an NFT, uh, how do I know if something's bullshit or something's integrated and powered by you guys? Um, yeah, good questions. We have a one of NFT store on, on eBay. Um, and when we, when we do the official drops on eBay, um, they, they promote it very heavily. Uh, across their collectibles marketplace. Um, you, you may not see anything right now per se. Um, and I, I'd have to go on. Well, I, I see like, so for example, so for example, I'm looking at like, I'm on, I'm on it and I see like Wayne Gretzky, the edge NFT. Um, but I don't, how do I know if that is actually someone just selling theirs or, and it's the same, like, okay, buy it. And then they're, they're taking a picture of it. Um, or is there like, there's no, I don't see any place to connect my wallet. So like, I don't understand yeah, the, how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a great question. Um, uh, unfortunately, right now, the only way that I think a customer could trust that it's a real NFT is if it's one of branded, meaning it's on the one of store on eBay. Um, other than that, I'm not sure how a customer would know whether the NFT is legitimate or not. Now, what I will say is the way that the process works when one of sells NFTs on eBay, and quite frankly, the only process that it works now is when you buy on eBay, they're like the fiat, you know, gateway to buying NFTs. When someone buys an NFT on eBay, they automatically get an email from one of that says, come claim your NFT. So they then get a, a link that redirects them to one of where they'd have to create a one of account, which takes less than two minutes. And then they would get their NFT immediately in their, uh, in their, mar uh, in their custom wallet on, uh, on our marketplace. It's actually a really, it's an easier process than maybe I'm explaining right now. <laughs> no, but, no, but I, yes, we, it's probably much easier than yeah. figuring out how to set up a MetaMask and fund it and all that stuff. Right. And, yeah, okay, exactly. 
So let's talk through the actual NFT, your, your NFT strategy. So I'm looking at the Wayne Gretzky one. It actually looks really dope. Um, yeah. I think the Muhammad, and then like, I love the art behind the Biggie one, which I'm eager to hear about. Um, the Muhammad Ali one looks super cool. Like, what's the strategy for you guys? Are you thinking like, hey, like, it's like the, it, are you thinking about this as like celebrities getting on here and doing their first NFTs? Or is this more like, hey, like we want to be like almost like an action figure or a sports card where, you know, it's not about like, it's coming from the, you know, like right today, like the Bill Murray NFT is like, it's all about Bill Murray minting his first NFT coming from his wallet and his account. And that's the big thing in Coinbase. Is that what works? Was Is that the angle you're taking where it's like, oh, wow, Wayne Gretzky is doing his first NFT? Or is it, hey, one of is doing an NFT and this is like the Wayne Gretzky action figure or sports card. Do you know the You see the new ones difference I'm saying? I, it, yeah, yeah, I do, absolutely. And, and, and by the way, I have a garage full of baseball cards and, act, and figures and action figures. So you're talking my language. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, we're, you're both, talking, we're, talking we're both collectible. Well. Yeah. I got, I got, I got uh, ridiculous everywhere here. We, we did a deal with Sports Illustrated, which is how we got Muhammad Ali and how we got Wade Gretzky and uh, Emmett Smith and Dick Buckus. And you'll notice that there's a, it, all these NFTs were, were done uh, on the creative side by Seriously Fun. So, seri yeah, that's all. Awesome. Old, old Rocky from the like 1970s. Apollo Creed, how we doing? All right, I don't got that one, but I got some others I could show you. Um, so Seriously Fun did the creative behind these, and they, they kind of came up along with our creative team, Chris, Chris C you know, Chris Seeley and our internal creative team came up with that concept um, to kind of have like a unified look across our sports drops. Uh, Seriously Fun is also doing our, our Biggie drop, our generated. Vince McMahon from 1980s. Yeah. Did, did, you, did you just break it, by the way? I could, do, I could do a whole episode. No, I was just, I have, a, I, yeah. I have it in a case. Okay, no, no, because something oh, fell. Yeah, something case. fell and like shot in like a piece of glass or something. No. Shot, it was just like, it's just the top of the case. But anyway, I can go on yeah. the case. All right. It's not a 10 anymore. Yeah. It's a 9.7 now. Sorry, Drew. There you go. <laughs> you just lost like five grand on the, uh, on the, PSA, <laughs> on the PSA price. Um, yeah. you know, we, we had seriously fun did the creative uh, on the Biggie drop. Um, but the Biggie drop doesn't look like an actuate in, in an actual box. Uh, but we've, we've used seriously fun for the Gretzky, for the Ali, and now for the Biggie. We're really happy with the creative that they've done. Um, on it, uh, you know, certainly we're a curated marketplace right now and, and, and celebrities is who we're going after. Uh, we are, we have kind of like hinted that we're going to be launching a, a self mint, a self mint platform, which I think is going to really help one up scale, uh, by allowing like musicians or artists or, you know, probably, uh, you know, even college sports athletes to basically mint their own NFT without there being like the curated white glove approach. Um, that our that our team of 80 employees gives so we're really looking forward to, to launching that um, but right now we are celebrity driven uh, could be independent artists um, but uh, we have a co-sign program for independent artists um, not necessarily celebrities but artists that we think uh, are on the cusp of becoming superstars um, that we're supporting also uh, but again right now we're curated but eventually we're going to be opening up uh, the minting process to those that want to you know anyone that wants to mint very cool very cool and, and um so right now everything you're saying is curated it's going to open up um what do you where, where do you guys see this like in a down market you know what do you how do you guys navigate that how do you battle it you know you obviously see open sea had a big big round of layoffs and it's like everyone's trying to like course correct and like prepare for a downturn like how do you like do you think like are you guys thinking about what is going to be the next trend in nfts how do you think about this as a business like you know where are you guys thinking about this from a downturn perspective um, yeah, I, you know, obviously we're working with progressive technology here. So you always have to think about what's next and have like a futuristic mindset, uh, which is partially my responsibility at the company um, to, to, to kind of figure out what's next. Uh, with that being said, we, we uh, again, we, we haven't really been affected by the by the crypto, overall crypto markets and macroeconomics because we accept USD. We accept fiat credit card payments. And most of the people that are first time customers in the NFT space that are coming on one up, they don't have crypto. So whether crypto goes up and down, it doesn't really affect them. Um, so we, we've been fortunate uh, in that aspect. Of course, I haven't been fortunate in my own personal portfolio, uh, but that's a whole nother, oh, whole nother Join story. The club, um, Join the club. But yeah, yeah, we, we, we'll have a drink about that later. Um, uh, so yeah, we, we've been able, we've been able to differentiate ourselves in that what's happening in the crypto market doesn't really affect the 90% of the consumers that are using credit cards to buy NFTs on our marketplace right now. 
Um, and and I, I was able to speak with the uh, executives at OpenSea, um, you know, in the, in the past few weeks. And right now they're really just focused on, um, you know, minimizing the churn rate. Like they're just trying to keep their customers that are there, not even really grow new customers. They just want to make sure that they maintain customers there um, because of the, you know, the downturn in, in the markets. Um, so that's, that's kind of like, I think what OpenSea is doing and, and us, um, with this biggie drop and with other drops, we're trying to obviously just bring as many new people on with our partnerships with eBay. Um, and I think that Lynn will be announcing some other bigger partnerships or big partnerships in the coming weeks. We're, we're trying to scale and, and grow. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. That's cool. What, um, okay. So, uh, just, just, you know, before we end when, uh, talk about when it is, it's, is it today? Is it next week? Yeah. Um, so this is a, a drop that I'm heavily involved in and extremely passionate about. Uh, I'm, I'm a Jewish kid from New Jersey and I grew up in, in the, you know, early nineties hip hop. Um, I actually started my music career working at hot 97, which is, um, you know, the most influential hip hop radio station in the world. Listen, I went to summer, I I went to summer jam in high school. So I, I know, I know. There you, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Jerry, you too. You too. Yep. Of course. I was literally the only oh, white guy there. So <laughs> it was like a few Jewish like very, high schoolers uh, that I went with. Uh, very fun fact. Our CEO, Lynn, actually uh, worked at Hot 97 also. And he and I had never crossed paths at Hot 97. And we actually met over Clubhouse during COVID. Um, and then he offered me a job. But, um, yeah, the, the Biggie drop is something that's really important to me. Um, what's, what's really dope, what's really dope about this drop is it, first of all, it's a generative drop. So everyone's getting a one of one biggie. The price is affordable for most people. It's only a hundred bucks, right? I mean, like, come on. Um, we, we were able to acquire the rights to the Fulton freestyle, Fulton street freestyle. If you're familiar with that, it's been in almost every single biggie documentary. It's never really been monetized. Um, what's, no the, uh, what's, the, ever, what's the Fulton Street free, freestyle again? Uh, it's, it's when Biggie's on the street corner rapping, like when he was 16 years old. Oh, that's, that's not yeah. the one where he's like, is that the one like seven Mac 11s, about eight thirty eights, nine, nine tens, the Mac tens. Yeah, that uh, no, 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 not that that's one. The one, with, that's, the one with, that's the one with Biggie versus Pac. That was, oh, that one kills. This, this well, it's, one it's the clip, this is the, the one clip one. where he's in, in like in Brooklyn, right? Like yeah, on yeah, the yeah. stoop, like in front of yeah. the house yeah, yeah, rapping yeah, yeah. with the neighbor. I picture yeah, I'm picturing it. It's awesome. It, 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 it's it's liter literally, to my knowledge, the earliest like video of Biggie rapping in history. Yeah, yeah. And, and, I think we, so too. and and what's dope is is that we acquired yeah, the rights to it. And what we're doing and what we're doing is is we're creating what's called the Sky's the Limit Collective, which is really why I wanted to talk to you guys and to this audience. Um, the Sky's the Limit Collective is going to own uh, essentially the rights to license this freestyle to whoever the collective votes on decides to do that. And when this, um, so if you're an NFT holder for a hundred bucks, you're automatically a part of the collective. I mean, how, how fucking dope is that? Right. It's awesome. Um, it's awesome. we are partners with, um, Quincy Jones production. Quincy Jones is arguably, um, of course. The, the yeah. I also had one of the greatest concerned. interviews of all time. I don't know if you've ever read that one where like he talks about every conspiracy theory and what was real, what was not. He's like, I know who killed JFK. You ever read that? It's uh, amazing. You know no, but apparently um, one of our co-founders, Adam Fell, is runs Quincy Jones Productions. And there's a documentary that I'm in the process of watching about him. Uh, but no, I haven't seen that. But I'm going to watch it, that now. It's not as something um, to see. He wrote. It was like a written interview with him about like. Oh, well, it's unbelievable. Eric, it's one of the greatest interviews of all time. Eric, do you own any of the uh, the Chimodu um, original NFT drops the, of like Biggie and Snoop and Pac and all those guys? No, I, I don't, but if you send me a link to the collection, I'll check it out. Oh, Chimodu, yeah. Chimodu, that, that one is like one of my favorite collections and of all of all my NFTs is like the Chimodu photography collection. He was like, he was the uh, head of uh, photography for, um, I think it was Source Magazine, um, took like Nas's first public pictures, like Snoop's album cover, Pac and Biggie's album's covers. He did an NFT drop um, and about a few months after that, he passed away. So he only did about 17, there's only like 17 photos in his drop ever. And uh, 15 one of a hundreds and two one of ones. Uh, the Pac one of one one just went recently went for about a million. And uh, the Biggie one is like untouchable. He like wanted like 10 million or some shit, shit for it. It's like so expensive. But um, the guy who the guys let, who let, owned it. Let me ask you something about photography NFTs because we're, we're kind of getting into that space also. Do you believe that there's a market for it? And with what uh, you just mentioned, 100%. Yeah. 100%. I think, I, think, I think photography found its home on the blockchain. 
it, there's never been a way to really prove out scarcity of, photo of photographs um, before the blockchain. So to me, I think that photography is going to be one of the one of the markets that I think stand the test of time. I'm a big photography art. I'm a big uh, photo photography collector. Um, the one thing I'm like still that, that we'll still figure out is like is is people like like for example. Um, Actually, you know, I don't even, I'm not sure the answer to this. Like, Alex, I wonder, like, are, uh, you know, we were talking, you know, you guys did that photography, um, that photography drop as yeah. well. Like, I think it's, it's interesting to think about how, what's going to work, what's not, how it's going to play out for photography. But I will tell you, like, I believe that photography found a home in Web3. And I have a nice collection of different, like, I probably have about maybe 50 different, like, uh, photo, like, like, I collect different artists, I follow them, etc. I'll tell you, it's tough. Uh, even with photography, I and mean, we did the photography stuff, I think the, the photos are great. Here's the problem with all this, is that when all is said and done, no matter what you think and what you care about, all people care about is this thing going to make me money. It's really it. If you want to, if you like, think about like anything that's ever worked ever. There's the whole like line. It either gets you, gets you paid or gets you laid. That's it. Think about every company ever that's been successful. Facebook got you laid uh you know airbnb got you paid maybe also got you laid. i don't know but the point is is that every <laughs> company ever that has ever been successful or everything usually ties back to those things um now getting paid getting late like you could also say is fun and that's that works but like you know or or gives me like enjoy but it usually comes down to that so i don't know like will we'll, Will NFT photography work? I think if you make an, you can make an argument that if you spend time in the digital world, you'll want digital things. Um, so you can make an argument that like, what, what, if we're spending 80% of your time the, there, then you want photos on your- What about, what about, if, the, what about if the right transfer to the holder and the holder can monetize then right on TV? That gets a page. Right, that's, yeah. So that's why that's why when Drew said a million dollars for a Tupac photo, I'm like, well, I hope that person has the rights to that photo now. <laughs> yeah. Like that, that, that would be my thought. They have the original NFT dropped by Chimoto. Like that's what it, that's and and like the whole yeah. reality is like that's the only one that'll ever be actually minted by Chimoto. Now, like his wife runs his estate, so she's done some things and done some partnerships and like she's working on new drops and stuff like that. But like for me, the the Genesis drop drop that Chimoto like minted from his own account before he passed away to me is like really interesting and has some interesting value to it. But. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, that's hey, awesome. Guy. I, I didn't realize, is, does cool Pisces stuff. work with you? Uh, yeah, she's uh, she's our social media. Okay, I didn't know if she was yeah, like yeah. joking around or whatever. That's funny. Now now I think no, she's no, funny. She, no, no, because she was like, you know, she, hit me up if I'm, you're single and under 35. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told her that she has to ask if, she has, she forgot to ask if everyone's rich, you know, she's got to go after the yeah. rich guys. No, this is good. Oh. <laughs> this is good. Um, wait, so, so I, I'm, I'm yeah. not just, I was going to say the reason that I brought up Quincy Jones though is important in that we have like, you know, a 25, 30 person team in LA, Quincy Jones' music team, that's going to help exploit this Fulton freestyle for the collective. And they're not going to charge the administration fee. So I also own a music publishing company and I have different verticals of music. And if I was to have someone collect my publishing royalties and, and give them back to me, they would take a 15, 20 percent big off the top before I see my check. And Quincy Jones's production team is, is basically waiving their administration fee to administer, to help administer essentially the license and the copyright of the Fulton Freestyle. And all that, all whatever money is created from this is going to come back into the collective. And just like the NFT collective that we're, the three of us are part of, the, the Sky's the Limit collective gets the vote on how to use those funds, whether it's buying other NFTs or Metaverse land or anything that, you know, paying developers to develop some play to earn game for the piggy NFTs, whatever it is that they want to do. It's a, you know, community economics. So really excited to be a part of this. And the so NFT what? also gives people access into the book, which is Facebook's like, or Meta, whatever the hell they call themselves now. Um, yeah. Biggie, Biggie's Metaverse is being created by Meta. So this NFT will give them access into that Metaverse as well. Uh, does, what's the deal with the allow list for the Biggie one? How do we get the allow list? Yeah, great question. So the allow list is closed, but I want to give away three allow list NFT tokens. And I want to explain how it works. Um, in order to get the allow list token, you have to put down a $10 deposit so that we know. We have over 100,000 people that have signed up for this, by the way. Damn. Um, Damn. I got to imagine, I got to imagine some of those are bots. 
So we came up with a way to get rid of the bots, which is for people to put down a $10 deposit so we know they're not a bot. Um, so that they can really get access to it if they want to get access to it. But because I love you guys so much in this community, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give away three allowless NFTs. Um, I haven't figured out how we're going to do it. You yet, say three or 63 because there's 63 people in this room right now. Three, no, I'm three, 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 three. Um, uh, I haven't figured out how we're going to do it, but I'll Yo, it what if we seconds. all buy them for two? What well, was a hundred bucks? What about if we give everyone here allowless, but we spend 200 bucks instead or 300 bucks, <laughs> That's 250. Uh, I think that I think that we can do that. So, you know what? Hmm. If there's a hundred thousand people. I want. I want to buy this thing. You, you, you know what? Okay. So let's do this. So we won't do a competition. <laughs> if all sixty-three people here, how many we got? Sixty-three people. You have to sign up for join. You know, create a one of account. It's free. When you when you create a one of account, um, I'm assuming they have Monica's or yours or someone's email address where they can send me. Uh, if Monica, if you can create or collect everyone's email address. Well, I'm sorry everyone's one of accounts username i will drop the allowless token in their um in their in their accounts uh, and that's that guarantees them the ability to buy to two big uh, NFTs every, uh, on the day of release. you like how i turn that from three to everybody here drew you like that yes. like that move yeah wait so hold on let's just go through this real quickly so you're saying you're you're, you're, you're a great you're a great salesman alex you're a great salesman yeah wait so you're create you create an account and then you're saying that um then just email – don't tell this to, like, friends. Keep it for yourself because if right. there's more than 63, then then we're going to have to remove people. 62 now. No, yeah. I'm joking. Maybe that person yeah. – that's it. Um, but e email me. I'm just alex at upstreamapp.com. I'll drop it in here. Or Monica. and Or email both of us. CC us. Um, and we'll get everyone in. Yeah. I, I'm, I, all I need is their one of account – uh, usernames yeah. and then we will I will put them in their account and that allowless token essentially gives you the ability to buy up to two biggie NFTs uh, on July 26th for hundred dollars each and you can buy yeah. up to two of them with the allowless token let's go let's okay. go now I have so now that I and now that I have my, now that I have my new mic I really want a freestyle <laughs> Drew, nobody wants to hear and, that. And by the way, and, and by the way, I, I absolutely have to gift one to the NFT collector that I'm a part of. Also, oh, so let's go! Guys, yes. That, by the way, that, we should definitely do that. That should be like the cost of coming on. Yeah. I What's that? Go. Like we should make it like when someone wants to come on, we, we like have, they have to like pay, they have to yeah, pay into the, into the DAO, like just to do, like donate. Something. Yeah, actually, Adam, let's actually do that. Let's go, let's start so that we start acquiring assets at no cost for DAO for, for just simply being on the show. Yeah. That's it. That's or at strategy. least get a allow list to it and then buy it for yeah, whatever yeah. that cost. Yeah. Was. But either way, there's lots, there's lots of, like, yeah. lots of different places there. Yeah. Um, okay. You're, cool. so, you're, you're well. You're welcome. I'm yeah, glad I gave this. you guys this idea. All on the fly. <laughs> All right, guys. So I got. I got to jump. I got to call. Yeah, but, uh, I got to go in a minute. Also, right, guys, so, uh, Eric, yeah, thank you so Eric, much for doing this. On, uh, let's hang out in Miami. And uh, yeah, everybody, uh, vote on the NFT proposal to to get our motos because um, I want to claim them uh, ASAP. So we got to do and, that. And, so, by the way, there, there's already celebrities in the in the collective that we haven't announced yet. So you're welcome right, to the cool. family. Cool. All right. Awesome. I'm going to start yeah. to break out and I'll hang out in the lobby with anyone who wants and I'll see you all next week.